Hey everybody, this is Mind267, and today we're going to learn how to make a banner effect like you'll see right about now in GIMP. So the first thing you want to do is make a new file, whatever size you want. And we'll make two layers. And the first thing we want to do is take our circle select tool. And make a circle of your of size of your choice, wherever you want, roughly centered-ish. And you want to take your gradient tool right here. Now, and you also want to set your color, so I'll use a dark red and white. And you want to go like this down the center. For that, next thing you want to do is take your other layer and take your rectangle select tool and go like this this time you want to radiant something like this and you get that not quite like what you saw so what we're going to do is right click one of your layers and click flatten image to merge these into one layer and then you want to take your smudge tool right here, little finger, and start smudging. Uh, oh, select none. And until you get basically what effect you want. Um, you, one thing I did in mine was that you saw at the beginning of the video is I kind of. Um, made it thin out as it the further it got. Um, so I'll just do this real quick and then I'll show you the rest of what you need. So now what we have is this and it's still a bit rough so what we want to do is take out our blur tool, blur and sharpen tool and set it to blur and just go over the edges for a bit more smooth look. Any rough spots you see, we want to do that. Oh, and another thing, when you take your smudge tool, make sure it's to get an effect more like this, you want to do something like this instead of this. So just blur out as you see fit. Um, I'm going to increase the rate for the front to make it a bit more blurred here since it's supposed to be more faint. And overall, if you do this right, you get a pretty nice effect. Like this. And that's all we have to do in GIMP for now. The rest we do in an editing program. Preferably something with composition like... Well, actually, yeah, it has to be something with composition like Sony Vegas or After Effects or something. So, um, what you want to do is save as title. and select file type. Make sure it's like um, JPEG or GIF or something. And export. Okay, so now we're in Sony Vegas in my case with our new file. And you want to import that picture that you just made. Um, one sec. Right here. And put it onto our timeline. Now what we want to do is add a chroma key effect, or whatever it is in your um, editing software. And just a sec. Add that. And now we want to select this white here. Change the thresholds and the blur until you get the effect you want. I like a lot of blur so it looks something like this. And if that's if you're happy with it then go ahead and use it. 
And if you want the flying effect, take, oh, go to crop and position it basically how you want it. And press create keyframe. Oh wait, on that keyframe, um, you want to make sure that it's off screen, like that. Make another keyframe and drag it into the frame. So now, if you look, whoops, wrong way. Okay, now if you look at it, it'll kind of fly in. That's a laggy. Uh, yeah, because it's laggy because the preview in Vegas is always laggy for me. That's a bit better. And you can add text and keyframe it just like that so it flies in with it if you want. Like I did at the beginning of the video. Okay guys, this is my 267. See you guys later.